In the last two decades, substantial progress has been made in the delineation and description of many transboundary aquifers across the world. Preliminary estimations of change of groundwater storage in some transboundary aquifers have been uh, made as well. However, much less, less information has been collected and much less has been learned about the quality of groundwater in transboundary aquifers. A transboundary water assessment program, so-called TWAP, included an indicator-based baseline assessment of status and trend in almost 200 transboundary aquifers worldwide. Two indicators dedicated to groundwater quality, namely groundwater natural background quality and groundwater pollution, could not be sufficiently assessed due to lack of data covering only 30 and 10 percent of uh, transboundary uh, aquifer national segment respectively. However, the TWAP has uh, illuminated some processes, for example, that a very low background groundwater quality is often the result of high impact from irrigation return flows in densely populated areas uh, with low to medium to medium uh, natural recharge such as uh, Nubian sandstone and uh, Indus transboundary aquifer. Apart from TWAP, uh, there were very few studies dedicated to groundwater quality of uh, transboundary aquifers. To mention uh, salinity mapping in the Middle East uh, done by, by uh, UN Esqua and uh, uh, BGR and a uh, nitrate issue uh, analysis in the Abbotsford aquifer shared between Canada and uh, USA. Uh, groundwater assessment, uh, quality assessment uh, at the aquifer scale uh, of uh, TBA is challenging for many reasons, starting uh, with the upscaling of point findings at the aquifer scale. Further, groundwater quality usually changes not only with the depth, but also with time. Accordingly, a possible travel time to the border between two aquifer states needs to be included in the TBA assessment. Differences in national legislations and in monitoring uh, sampling procedures make the assessment of the qualitative state of the transboundary aquifers even more complex. The Friends of Groundwater, uh, a network uh, of about 30 global groundwater experts representing 20, about 20 institutions and organizations prepared a so-called perspective paper assessing groundwater quality, a global perspective, importance, methods and potential data sources. The paper is prepared in the framework of the World Water Quality Assessment, WWQA, initiative led by uh, UN Environment Unit. This baseline document, prepared by FOC uh, for the global assessment, also addresses specifics of TBAs, in particular uh, comparable standards for the aquifer, data sharing and joint capacity development programs. Some progress uh, has been made in a standardization with the European Union, although uh, the European concept of groundwater bodies does not provide much guidance on possible transboundary impacts. Moreover, the, the priorities regarding transboundary groundwater quality assessment could differ per region. Therefore, the work of the FOG within the WWQA initiative should be aligned with activities of ISAM program and uh, IIH Commission on Transboundary Aquifers and on Groundwater Quality.